about some angel card readings. Woohoo! Yes, it is Saturday and it is not 2 p.m. Central. And I usually do the Mojo Show on Thursdays at 2 p.m. Central right here on this page, which would be the Mojo Medium. However, this week my Thursday was so cram packed that I completely forgot. I totally forgot to come here and give you your angel card readings. So I decided that I would give up part of my lovely Saturday when I'm going to decorate the house for Christmas to come here and spend some time with you and give you some angel card readings, okay? If you don't know me, I'm Mojo Medium, a.k.a. Susan Morrow Johnson. You'll find me on the web at Mojo Medium. What a surprise. And I am a psychic medium. That means I foretell the future. I explain what's going on with your present and past. And yes, I talk to dead people. That's right. I call them your RIPs. I'm also an intuitive life coach, and I have a fantastic group coaching program called Mojo My Life, as well as I'm also a manifestation expert. So if you want to learn how to make magic happen in your life, look into Make Magic with Mojo. You'll find that also on the web at Mojo Medium. I feel like I'm like, um, you know, talking patter from a Disney World ride, you know? And on your ride, you'll see, oh my goodness, what's that? The poachers have made their way forward. Okay, so here's where we are today. Ooh, bless you. I like to start out with a card from the Golden Deck. This is for you whenever you may see this. Um, it doesn't matter when. This card is going to be good news for you that you can look forward to in the next few days to a week, okay? Like I said, doesn't matter when you see this. If you're seeing it live or in the replay, that's fine. So the Golden Deck was developed uh, when I was divinely inspired to develop them when uh, one too many people asked me, what bad thing do I need to be prepared for? You know, look in my future and see what terrible thing is coming along for me. Honey, if you look for the bad, guess what you find? And if you look for the good, guess what you find? So the golden deck is uh, also known as good news only fortune telling cards. Ooh, and by the way, I have something to tell you about that. One moment. Uh, the golden deck can be yours. It's available on my website at Mojo Medium. Hey, Lori. Hey, Alice. Nice to see y'all. And um, anybody else, say, feel free to say hello. So the golden deck can be yours for a very low price. And um, you can have your own deck. Put them next to your bed or um, next to your toothbrush or on your work your desk at work. And every day or two or once a week, draw a card. Cut the deck. Draw a card. See what it does for your day or your week, how it guides it, how it helps you to develop your look for the good muscle. Because that's what's so important. Okay. All right. I'm not going to lecture about that anymore. All right. Your card for today, your good news only card for the next few days to a week is entertainment. Well, you know, that makes a lot of sense because if you are seeing this live or in the replay, like really soon afterward, there's a noise out there. I think the dog's doing something weird. Um, that right now, today, when I'm doing this live is December 7th, which is really close to Christmas and Hanukkah and, um, you know, New Year's and all that stuff. So it seems like entertainment would make sense, right? Like you're looking forward to going to hear Trans-Siberian Orchestra, which by the way, if you have the chance to go see Trans-Siberian Orchestra, go. It is worth every penny or you can win tickets on the radio. Uh, but it is a fantastic show and I highly recommend it. For a few years that was a tradition in my family where we would go see Trans-Siberian Orchestra, also known as TSO. Uh, so you may be going to see Trans-Siberian Orchestra or you may be going to some other holiday related entertainment However, I'm really strongly getting movies associated with this particular time. Now, see, when you draw a card for yourself, you get to decide what it is you're looking for. Oh, I'm looking forward to being entertained in the next few days to a week. That's great. Okay, I'm looking for the entertainment. You know, where is it? And when I give you a card reading, I tell you what it is more specifically. So, like I said, this one really is pointing me toward the movies. So, whether you go to the cinema or you stay home in Netflix, uh, look for entertainment that is movie-based entertainment, okay? And let me know how that, how that manifests in your life because it's always interesting to me to see how that may come around. It, it's like... You know, you could be thinking from what I just said, oh, yeah, I'm planning to go to the movies with my boyfriend tomorrow. Um, 
but it might be something more like you go visit your mom and she says, ooh, there's this old movie that I've always loved. Sit down and watch it with me. You know, so look for that and see how it manifests in your life. All right. Hello, Beth. Nice to see you. Lori, going to the boat parade tonight. Perfect. It's not a movie, but it is entertainment. So enjoy that. Hope you have fun. All right. Let's get down to some serious business. As I mentioned um, about, I have something to say about this deck of cards for you and its availability for you. Here's the thing. You've been asking a number of people have been asking me for this for a long time. You may be one of them. And that is an angel card training class, uh, uh, a class where I can teach you how to read angel cards for yourself. And I was going to have you go pick out your own angel cards, you know, whatever kind you wanted, mine or somebody else's, it doesn't matter. But I decided that in order to teach the class effectively, it would be best if everybody had the same cards. So I'm going to include these, the Good News Only deck, and also the blue deck, and the one I call the blue deck, which is the, um, oh, I'll think of it in a minute, <laughs> Tomorrow Angel cards. So they're a little different. They're not Good News Only. They're more like fortune telling cards also, but not always, not only Good News. I mean, it could have guidance and stuff like that. So, um, what I decided to do was to give both decks to you when you sign up for the class. So I don't have that up and ready yet. The class will be probably in January, maybe February, but I wanted to give you a heads up. Okay. So that's very exciting. You'll have a chance to get your own cards and learn how to use them. So that's pretty cool, right? I'm also working on, do I have it up yet? No, I don't have it up yet. I'm also working on Santa's gift, Psychic Santa's gift list, and that's going to be on the website, hopefully today, because like I said, I, I'm working on a Saturday so that I can get everything done. Crazy, crazy week. Things are so busy right now, not just with work, but with, uh, you know, family and everything is crazy. You know, I have a new grandson, right? I have a brand new, brand new grandson. He was born 10 days ago. And his name is Kai. And he is about the cutest, sweetest thing you ever saw. And my daughter got her cuddly baby because her first her first child was not a cuddler. But this baby's a cuddler. So isn't that fun? Isn't that great? I mean, what a blessing. And right at Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, etc. And actually, they're Jewish. So right at Hanukkah. Although, you know, you may or may not know that Hanukkah is actually a minor festival in Judaism. The big ones are the High Holy Days in September and October, Rosh Hashanah and Yom, Yom Kippur. So just in case. Uh, cheers for the day, people, said Sherry, or is it Jerry? Hi, Cindy. Nice to see you. Let's see here. Say hello. We're fixing to get to all the stuff. Beautiful baby. Saw the picture. Thank you. I think he's just, yeah, he's, he's amazing. He's amazing. He's so squeezy and cute and so tiny and special. And I asked my daughter yesterday, I said, how's, how's the baby? She said, oh, he's sweet and cuddly, and he peed all over me this morning. <laughs> so it's just not a baby boy if you don't get peed on, right? Um, but she's been through that before. Okay, moving along to your angel card readings for today. And I'm going to walk you through the whole thing, but here's the basis. Here are the basics. First of all, we're going to do a micro meditation. It's really simple, three breaths, and I'm going to walk you through that. Then I will ask you to think about your concern or question while I shuffle the deck three times, okay? Then I'll ask you to choose one, two, or three. I'll cut the deck and lay out three cards face down so I don't see them until you see them. And then I'll show them to you and give you a reading. So whichever number you choose, one, two, or three, that card will be yours. A note of, not caution, but like knowledge <laughs> is that the, um, there's such a thing that I call the group effect. And so anytime you witness someone else's reading, whether it's, you know, in person or you're reading about it or doing what we're doing here, um, you're likely to get messages that apply to you from the other readings as well. So pay attention. Okay. Don't just say, okay, well, I got my number two card and that's mine and that's it. Oh, gosh, I got, wish I got the number three card. I really like that one. It is for you. Okay. It's for you. It's all for you. Your life is about you. You are the center of your universe. And oh my gosh, have I got stuff coming up on that. Ooh. I've also got some more stuff um, that's coming up soon. Really cool stuff like the Word Workshop for 2020. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for that. I've also got uh, the 
2020 preview calls, psychic preview calls. So that'll be cool. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop messing around with my cards. Micro meditation. Very useful for almost <clears throat> any time of day. Ooh, dear. I know I have a bold red lip today, right? I like to do that when I'm in black and white. And besides, it's the holidays. Okay. So the micro meditation is this. Very simple. Three deep breaths. Make sure that you breathe like you're breathing all the way down to your toes. Make sure your belly sticks out and expands so that you can really, really fill your lungs. Okay. And so we're going to take three deep breaths slowly together. And what I want you to do is while we do that, concentrate on this mantra. I call on my angels and guides, as well as all those who have my best interests at heart. And I'm going to say that again. I call on my angels and guides, as well as all those who have my best interests at heart. One more time for those in the back. I call on my angels and guides, as well as those who have my best interests at heart. Okay. So get ready, get comfortable. You're going to close your eyes for this. Like I said, this is a really useful micro meditation to kind of press the reset button anytime you need it. Okay. It's not going to uh, <laughs> make anything bad happen and it might just make something really good happen. All right. I like to cross my feet at the ankle. I like to hold my hands like this. You can hold yours however you like. And are you ready? We're closing our eyes and we're going to go. I call on my angels and guides as well as all those who have my best interest at heart. Right. Ready? Inhale. Excellent. Two more. Very good. Last one. Woo. That always just feels good. You know, honestly, I don't do it as much as I should. I should practice what I preach, right? Now I'm very relaxed. Oh, it's such a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in Southeast Houston. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We get, usually this kind of weather comes in October, but this year we've gotten it kind of extended all the way through December. It's fantastic. Okay, shuffling the cards. Forget the weather. Think about your greatest concern or question. If you can't pick one because there are too many or you just don't know what to ask, ask the default question. What do I need to know right now? And you can put your question here and tell us what your question is or your, your concern or your worry. You can even put a word that kind of represents it, like just write car or grandma or something like that so that you're kind of enforcing this this your question and your thoughts with the imbuement I don't know if that's the right word of the deck of cards okay I think I've shuffled them at least three times all right so let us know what you uh what you are concerned about I am ready now to deal out the cards I'm cutting the deck and one two I've never done, done it this way three all right very good let's see what we got here okay number one. Oh. That's the next thing. You need to choose one, two, or three. You can write that as well. Share that with us. One, two, or three. Which card is for you? And trust yourself. Trust yourself. You've got the guidance. You just called in your angels and guides who are always there anyway, but you need to be conscious of them being with you. You know, be aware of that. When you call on them, you're, you're raising your vibration and saying, hey, let's communicate, right? That's what angel card readings are for. All right, number one, blessed change. Ooh, a major life change brings brings you great blessings. Love this card. And you know, I almost always think when I when I'm doing these readings for you, I almost always think, oh wow, I know what this means to me immediately. It's like, yeah, it just like shoots through me. But then I go to focus on it for you. So let's take a look at what this means. First of all, I want to let you know that when this says blessed change, a major life change brings you great blessings. Typically, we don't like change, right? And I want you to think about a time when you have gone, oh, I don't like this change. And then after the change is made and integrated and kind of absorbed into your life, you go, Oh my gosh, if that hadn't happened, this wouldn't have happened and this wouldn't have. Like, I got laid off in 1998. 
didn't know what I was going to do. After a few months, I woke up one day with this fantastic idea to start a business. I did, and I was very successful right out of the gate. That was in 1999, 20 years ago. So that was a blessed change. I actually wasn't upset because I had predicted it, <laughs> the layoff and all that. Um, but I really didn't know what I was going to do. I wasn't upset about it, but I didn't know what I was going to do. So I just want you to keep that in mind when we think about blessed change, a major life change brings you great, great blessings. In this case, this is a big change. It's not a small change. Okay. So think about losing your job or, and, and that would mean don't worry, or it could be getting a new job, getting promoted. Um, I, since, I feel like it's really more, I mean, I use that as an example because that was what happened to me way back, but I really feel like it has more to do with family this time so a major life change brings you great blessings now if you have a new grandbaby like i do then that's really obvious oh look this is a huge change in our lives and what a fantastic blessing it is so that's real easy and obvious but there may be something else with your family that is far less obvious for example this is the holidays you may have to encounter and or deal with relatives that you have a difficult time with maybe your in-laws you know, so um, maybe there's a big change with them. Maybe somebody comes to live with you or, you know, something like that that seems sort of negative at the outset, something to do with your family. So take a deep breath and go, Susan told me this was going to be okay. And know that there will be blessings to come out of this. It says it brings you great blessings. You will find at least one if you'll look for it. And I don't mean little things like, well, grandma died of it. You know, at least I got her Christmas pin. I mean things like, wow, this has made a huge change in my relationship with my grandfather. Or, you know, uh, so-and-so had a car wreck and that was terrible. Uh, but then uh, I got to give him my car and get a new one for myself. So, you know, see, see, see what I'm saying? Okay. A major life change brings you great blessings. That's number one. Let's go on to number two, shall we? If you chose number two, this is your card. Rest. You've been working hard. Take a nap and get some rest. Okay. As very often happens with this card. I mean, it's so easy to take at face value, right? And I even have said several times here today that I've been working my ass off all week with, everything and before this week you know just craziness in my life new baby sick dad traveling to mississippi going over to my dad's going here hither thither and yon can't even think about christmas can't even think about it i have not even put up the tree yet right so it's real easy to look at this and go face value go take a nap you know and sometimes that's the case when i draw this card for a client sometimes that is it, it is to be taken literally but not today. Um, what this card suggests today for you is that you take a break from uh, something toxic. And so when it says take a nap and get some rest, take a break and get some relief. Does that make sense? Okay, so rest. Take a break and get some relief from something toxic. That may mean taking a day or more off work. It may mean uh, declining an invitation to, I don't know, have eggnog with your in-laws. It may mean saying no to something <coughs> mm. that will give you relief. So do that belly check, right? Um, when something comes up that you go, I don't really want to do that. And then you say no and you go, oh, that feels a lot better. That's the thing. Okay, so take a break. Instead of take a nap and get some rest, take a break and get some relief from something toxic. Okay, that's number two. Number three, here we are. Contemplation time. Spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. Now this one, and I could tell this right away, this really has to do with the new year coming. And, you know, contemplation time, spend time alone meditating upon what you truly desire. Um, I'd love to say that what this means is you need to join Make Magic with Mojo because we teach about meditation and how to get what you want. But uh, that's just a big old commercial, isn't it? So contemplation time usually means meditation. I mean, this card usually is spend time alone meditating, right? So, um, 
and most most of my clients over the years have told me they can't meditate and and you really can i can teach you or you can learn on youtube or whatever um so what this is about is hold on hold on lost train of thought let's bring it back mm, okay the main thing is meditating upon what you truly desire the main thing is to think about what you really want not what you should want not what you shouldn't want not what somebody else wants it's about focusing on what you want right now and i did say about 2020 as well right about the new year yeah so focus on right now is a great time and i am doing the 2020 word workshop and the 2020 preview calls um it's a great time to think about what you truly want in the new year. What's, what do you want to be different from this year? Okay. Now, if you're seeing this at a different time, if you're seeing a replay in, you know, July, it's still the same. Think about what you want, not what you don't want. Think about what you want, not what somebody else wants or thinks you should want, but what you really want. And you know what I always tell you, don't be so humble. You are worthy of whatever you want. So don't go, well, I really want a Mercedes, but I'll settle for a Volkswagen. A Volkswagen's a fine car, but if you really want a Mercedes, you're worthy of a Mercedes. You can have it. <laughs> don't argue that you only make $20,000 a year. It can be done. I promise you. I, uh, I just recently, okay, I'm through with the readings. Thank you. Um, I just recently started a new meditation, and I can't wait teach it to you it's it is essentially self-hypnosis and I'm not a hypnotherapist and you think you can't be hypnotized especially not by yourself I know you do but the truth is about 95% of us are suggestible it's really not that hard once you learn how to do it you can make some amazing changes and just as an example something that I was working on I started this new meditation self-hypnosis thing November 2nd I think it was and in November, and one of the things I was focused on was money. Um, I wanted to gear up for the holidays, right? And I started this November 2nd. And the next day, a little more money started rolling in. And of course, I'm self-employed, so it fluctuates, right? But essentially, bottom line, and I'm not exaggerating this, in November, I made 335% more than I made in October. So in October, I made this amount. In November, I made 33 and a, sorry, 33 and a third. What am I trying to say? 335% is three and a third times, like three times the amount that I made in October. I didn't change anything except doing this meditation. So I'm thrilled to get to share that with you. So look for that real soon. Okay. And if, in fact, if you're interested in it, you can write here right now and, and just say, hey, I'd be interested in that new meditation. And uh, what is the word workshop? And what is the 2020 preview call? So let me know what you're interested in. And I will come back here and answer your questions. And as soon as I get the Psychic Santa's wish uh, gift list up and ready to go, you'll have it in your hands. You'll have it in your hot little hands. I'll put the link everywhere. Okay. Actually, it'll be at that link in the description of this video. It'll be right there. And uh, so keep going back. Check back often. Okay. I am going to wrap it up. Got some more work to do before I can uh, go decorate the house for Christmas. And I hope you're having a great Saturday where you are or whenever you might see this because I got to remember you may be watching this some other time. I always call in our angels and guides like yours and mine um, for everyone who will see this video past present and future and i i know that's kind of funny um, but i love to include the past because i think time is not linear you know and it's a human construct and so i think it covers the basis to call in the past Any, anybody who will see this in the past crazy stuff right okay stay tuned love seeing you today Mwah! so happy to be here so happy to see you and i will see you again very soon thursday we'll do the mojo show again at 2 p.m central 
Uh, if I don't just skip right over because I've got too many appointments. All right. That's it. I'm going to go now. I'm going to mojo bye-bye, and I'm going to wish you a mojo day.